Q&A or enter into Q&A there at the White House. Uh, he is uh, meeting with the U.S. Conference of Mayors uh, there talking about uh, infrastructure, immigration, affordable housing as he's meeting with the various uh, mayors and, and talking about their concerns uh, right now as we move into 2023. We, of course, wanted to see if he was going to talk at all about classified documents. Um, he didn't, but he did talk about a number of a very important issues, issues that are of concern uh, to a lot of the mayors here across the country. Uh, let's bring in ABC News White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks. She was also listening uh, to the uh, president's remarks there. Your top takeaways, Mary Alice. It's fitting here that this comes at basically the halfway point in the president's uh, presidency, two years today since he was sworn into office. And what the president got to do there was basically lay out a lot of his accomplishments from these last few years and what he hopes to do with the remaining time that he has in office. Like you said, you heard him talk about health care, the environment, climate change, and infrastructure. He really tried to emphasize the moments where he's worked across the aisle, talking about how he's proud of that. Obviously, this is a new stage of his presidency where there's a divided government, Republicans in control of the House. Uh, no question, a message uh, partially to them and to all the Republicans sitting in that room saying that he is open to working with them when possible. So we heard the president address the documents yesterday, but nothing today. So you were also in the press briefing just a little while ago. Any change in messaging from the administration? Uh, no, Kira, I have to tell you, we continue to get a sort of stonewalled on our questions from the White House press secretary. She continued to defer questions about the investigation to the Department of Justice or to the White House counsel's office. You know, we asked just some clarifying questions with the president's remarks. You know, what did he mean really when he said that he had no regrets of how this was all handled? Uh, what did he really mean when he said there was no there there? She would not clarify or, or add to the president's remarks at all. She said that they were just going to have to speak for themselves. You know, but I think that there are a lot of outstanding questions. You know, the White House Counsel's Office, for example, said that the documents getting there, being misplaced, was a mistake. Inadvertent, but a mistake. Uh, so what does the president mean when he says there's no there there, that nothing went wrong? I think this White House is going to continue to face a lot of questions. The president is going to continue to face a lot of questions about how much he's cooperating and what they've learned were in those documents. So our John Carl, as you know, uh, actually sat down with the mayors of three of the nation's largest cities, New York, Los Angeles, Houston, for an interview for this week. Here's part of that conversation. What is, from each of you, what is, the, in your view, the number one issue facing your city? Public safety. Public safety. <laughs> Prerequisite to prosperity, uh, the economy, inflation, all of that ties to people must be safe. Ah, right. Uh, in Los Angeles, without a doubt, it's homelessness, but it's the intersection of income inequality and also public safety. And because income inequality is so severe in Los Angeles, the most extreme manifestation of that is 47,000 people asleep on the streets in tents. And I would agree with that. I mean, public safety uh, is a top priority. Uh, but at the same time, what impacts public safety? Yes. And so you have to the economy, revitalizing our communities that have been underserved for a long, long time, dealing with the issues of homelessness, and those things that put people on the street right. or keep people at the margins right. of so their lives. So important, so important. And, and, and that's what we are doing. When people hear public safety, they think police. Right. right. And we are saying public safety is intervention and prevention. Right. We must stop feeding criminal behavior and what we're doing uh, upstream. If you change upstream, we won't be pulling people out of right. crime downstream. Intervention and prevention. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what does come out of this conference of mayors, uh, if anything. So many hot topics uh, to address with a number of mayors. And you heard the president during his opening remarks there to the mayor say that he doesn't believe public safety in any way means defunding the police, but perhaps retraining police and offering additional services. He did acknowledge that he doesn't think every single situation needs to be solved with a police officer, that there are times when there should be more mental health services, more social services. Uh, but this has been an important message from this president. He doesn't want to get uh, wrapped up in any of the conversation about defunding the police. And he likes to talk about how Actually, he has proposed additional funding for police and public safety. He knows that that is a top priority for mayors. And Kira, I just have to say, also just watching that clip, I have to think about 
just how important mayors are in this country. I mean, these mayors represent millions of people. The president joked that when he was in California yesterday, uh, California, if it was a country, would be one of the largest countries in the world. We're talking about cities uh, that, that really, in, mayors who really impact people's lives with the decisions that they make for our cities. And so I know the president's looking forward to his time with them. Mary Alice Parks, appreciate it. Thank you so much.